Many email clients such as Outlook 2007 block images by default. As a workaround, we wrote an app which converts each pixel of an image into an HTML cell. If you take a look at this Samsung email, if we go to images off, you can see that the logo and the social media icons are still displaying. Images on, images off. And then if we take a look in the preview pane, you can see how useful this is with brand recognition to be able to see your logo straight away. So once you unpack the zip file, you'll get this exe and a license and a readme. The license basically says, you know, feel free to use the, uh, the app in-house, but please don't distribute it. And the readme file has some uh, advanced features outlined. So right now it only supports bitmap files. So let's take this uh, eBay logo and drop it on the drop it on the exe, and you'll see that it launches a dialog box, and it prompts us to choose further options. So we're going to say no because we're going to use the default settings, and then it asks us to go for it, and we say why for yes. As you can see, it automatically generates this eBay HTML file and it places it in the source folder of the uh, original bitmap image. So let's open this up quickly. And as you can see, this is no longer an image, but if we view the source, it's uh, HTML cells. So you would just need to copy and paste this code into a newsletter. So let's quickly run through the uh, iPod examples so that you can see how to scale something. So if we take this bitmap, drop it again onto the XE, and it launches the dialog box and choose whatever options. This time we're going to say yes, block compression, yes, uh, specify background color, no, because the default's wide and we want to keep that. Enter scale, let's try 10. Scale up 10 times, omit return characters, no, let's keep them. Go for it, yes. And again, almost instantly, it pops up the iPod HTML file, and uh, it's scaled 10 times. Obviously, it's not tiny like this. Um, and if we, we can again go and view source and see that it's code, you know, and you can create, uh, you know, non-traditional shaped email templates with this really easily. This is how we created our iPod demo. If you've uh, viewed the blog post, you would have seen this, and you can see this is all HTML and the Apple logo was also converted, so the, the whole thing is visible with images blocked. There are some limitations with the app. Um, Lotus Notes uh, version 6.5 and 7 uh, renders, renders the converted images but stretches them a little bit. We still haven't fixed that, um, although it does work on the later versions, Lotus Notes version 8 and 8.5. Uh, the second limitation is that Gmail only renders 100k of HTML. Um, you know, this doesn't include your images, this is just your HTML file. So my biggest tip to get the smallest file sizes is to reduce the bit depth of your image from, say, 24-bit down to 8-bit. We've had savings of around 30% just from doing this alone. Um, you can maybe even go smaller. Um, solid colours obviously work best, just like with a GIF file, you want to avoid gradients wherever possible. Um, thirdly, if you clean up any stray pixels, and make sure that if your background is supposed to be white, that it is actually pure white. If you have any questions, you can email me, Anna Yeaman, at Anna at StyleCampaign.com. And um, I'm on Twitter most days, um, at StyleCampaign. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Uh, drop me a line. Cheers, bye.